Kronosaurus was a massive marine reptile that lived in Australia during the early Cretaceous period 121 and 105 million years ago. It was a short-necked plesaur, which means it was related to other marine reptiles of the Cretaceous period such as the Plesaurus and Liopleurodon. It was an apex predator that ruled the oceans and inland seas of the Cretaceous period. The genus name translates as Cronus lizard and it was named after the Greek titan Cronus. Although there are some disagreements about the actual size of this marine reptile, Cronosaurus was arguably the largest known plesosaurid. It was also one of the deadliest marine reptiles to have ever lived, with a bite force higher than that of the famous Tyrannosaurus rex. The jaws of this creature are thought to have produced a bite force of 33,000 pound force per square inch. Unfortunately, scientists have only found a few fossils of this marine reptile, which has left questions about some aspects of its anatomy and behavioral attributes. Chronosaurus was the largest of all its closest relatives in the Pliosaur subfamily. This reptile had a massive and robust body, streamlined and fully adapted to a marine lifestyle. The compact body of the Chronosaurus tapered towards both ends and was supported by abdominal ribs, also known as gastralia, that helped to keep the body firm. Like the other Pliosaurus, the Chronosaurus head was quite massive. The skull length of this reptile was at least 2.4 meters, 7.9 feet, and may have been as much as 2.7 meters or 8.7 feet. Although there are disagreements about this reptile's total length, estimates range from just 8 meters to about 12 meters, 39 feet. Chronosaurus probably weighed between 10.6 and 12.1 tons. Some estimates claim this marine reptile was more than 13 meters long, but this was probably exaggerated. The narrow, elongated skull of the Chronosaurus housed a set of cone-shaped teeth that interlocked when the jaws were closed. The teeth were a few inches long, but weren't very sharp. The Chronosaurus makes up for this by having a lethally powerful bite and a strong grip. The limbs of Chronosaurus were adapted from paddles similar to those of a turtle. The hind limbs had a diameter of up to 2 meters, 6.5 feet, and were slightly bigger than the forelimbs. It also had a short but well-developed tail, which probably had a small fin, as seen in some plesiosaurs. Chronosaurus is mainly known from fossils discovered in Australia that date back to the late Cretaceous period, specifically between 120 and 105 million years ago. The limited fossil remains of this reptile suggest that it had a limited geographic range that was restricted to an inland sea known as the Iromanga Sea. This was a high-latitude inland sea that covered vast areas of inland Australia between 120 and 90 million years ago. The relatively shallow sea was frigidly cold with conditions nearing freezing point. Some parts of this sea were probably covered by sheets of ice during certain seasons of the year. Although the most complete Chronosaurus fossils come from Australia, a few fragmentary fossils have been found in Colombia. Due to the distance between these two locations during the Cretaceous period, experts think the Chronosaurus could have had a worldwide distribution across the various seas of the Mesozoic era. Chronosaurus was a powerful and efficient swimmer. It probably propelled itself through the water by undulating its entire body laterally while steering with the oversized flippers. This swimming technique is similar to that of modern-day crocodiles and other marine reptiles. Chronosaurus didn't live in large groups or exhibit other advanced social behavior. However, based on the presence of juvenile Chronosaurus fossils alongside adult specimens, experts think they exhibited some level of parental care. Chronosaurus offsprings remained with their parents until they could fend for themselves. With large conical teeth that measured up to 7 cm inches in length on average, this reptile was capable of taking down pretty much any animal in its ecosystem. The Chronosaurus teeth and massive jaws were capable of crushing the shells of the huge ammonites that lived in the Cretaceous waters. It also preyed on marine invertebrates such as giant squid, fish and other contemporaneous marine reptiles that were smaller in size. Researchers have uncovered fossils of Iramangosaurus, an 8-meter-long plesiosaur bearing potential bite marks inflicted by Chronosaurus. 
This discovery vividly illustrates the diverse range of prey that Kronosaurus may have consumed. To obtain food, Kronosaurus likely relied on its exceptional swimming abilities to pursue and capture prey. Once it catches up with prey, the Kronosaurus open and shut biting was capable of grasping prey efficiently. But the narrow snout was poorly suited for twisting prey like crocodilians do. Kronosaurus individuals reproduced sexually with males and females coming together to produce young. Although they were reptiles, female Kronosaurus probably gave birth to live young. The young hatch from eggs carried in the mother's belly, a condition known as oviviviparity. So far, no conclusive evidence of live birth has been found for the Kronosaurus. But the size of this reptile and their lack of terrestrial adaptations would have made it difficult to come ashore to lay eggs. Scientists have evidence that shows that the ichthyosaur, another marine reptile that lived during the Cretaceous, reproduced by giving birth to live young instead of laying eggs. Juvenile Kronosaurus remained with their mothers for weeks or months after birth until they were old enough to hunt prey independently. Kronosaurus, like many reptiles, likely exhibited indeterminate growth, which means it continued to grow throughout its life. The growth rate may have slowed down after attaining maturity. This indeterminate growth pattern allowed the Kronosaurus to grow to such a great size. As it was mentioned before, Kronosaurus belongs to a group of marine reptiles known as Pliosaurs. Members of this reptilian group were part of a large order called the Plesiosauria. Characterized by their short neck, stocky build and large head, this group of marine reptiles thrived during the Mesozoic era, particularly the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Plesiosaurs are secondarily marine reptiles. This means they evolved from terrestrial ancestors that returned to the ocean. The ancestors of the Kronosaurus and other plesiosaurs were Sauropterygian reptiles that returned to the ocean in the early Triassic period. They were relatively smaller, with shorter necks and broader skulls, but soon evolved into much bigger sizes. Most of these Sauropterygian reptiles died off at the end of the Triassic period, but some of them persisted into the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. The evolution of large pliosaurs like the Kronosaurus can be traced back to the Jurassic period. They also developed large conical teeth, which were effective for catching and holding on to prey. The surface of the Kronosaurus teeth lacked the sharp edges seen on the teeth of other large marine reptiles. These seemed like an adaptation for crushing prey with hard shells such as the ammonites that were quite abundant in the Kronosaurus habitat. Given its size, Kronosaurus was undoubtedly a formidable predator. They likely faced competition from other marine reptiles present in the same ecosystem. There is very limited evidence to fully explain the nature of their relationship with the other pliosaurs, but it likely competed for similar prey. Later in the Cretaceous, more agile, better adapted marine predators such as the Mosasaurus and prehistoric sharks emerged. These emerging marine predators outcompeted large pliosaurs like the Kronosaurus and replaced them as the apex species in the late Cretaceous seas. Despite being such a crucial genus, fossils of Kronosaurus are relatively rare compared to those of other large Cretaceous reptiles. However, several important fossils have been identified for this genus and it remains one of the Australia's most popular prehistoric animals. Some of the estimates and reconstructions of this reptile were exaggerated, but the inaccuracies apart, Kronosaurus has played a vital role in our understanding of the large pliosaurs and the prehistoric ecosystems where they lived. When it comes to a hypothetical fight between a Kronosaurus versus Mosasaurus, who do you think would win? Which one of these prehistoric creatures is stronger? and which one of them has more to offer in terms of endurance and defense. There are a number of differences between the Kronosaurus and the Mosasaurus. For example, the Mosasaurus grew far larger than the Kronosaurus in both length and weight. Additionally, the Mosasaurus had sharper teeth than the Kronosaurus, though the Kronosaurus had a much higher bite force compared to the Mosasaurus. While size is not the only determining factor in a fight, there are some significant differences. The Mosasaurus ranged in length from 35 to 55 feet, 
while the Kronosaurus only reached 30 to 40 feet on average. These translated directly into the weights of these two creatures, as the Kronosaurus weighed on average of 10 to 12 tons, while the Mosasaurus weighed 20 to 25 tons. If this was a battle based on size alone, the Mosasaurus would win against the Kronosaurus. The speed and agility of the Mosasaurus and the Kronosaurus are strikingly similar to one another. They are both highly agile and capable in the water, though the Kronosaurus is slightly faster than the Mosasaurus. This is likely based on the more compact frame of the Kronosaurus compared to the elongated body of the Mosasaurus. Let's take a closer look at the figures now. It is estimated that the Kronosaurus reached 30 to 40 miles per hour on average, while the Mosasaurus reached 20 to 30 miles per hour and only reached these top speeds in short bursts. The Kronosaurus was well known for its speed, especially over great distances. If this was a race, it is highly likely that the Kronosaurus would reign supreme against the Mosasaurus. Both of these reptiles had extremely powerful jaws and teeth, though the bite force of the Kronosaurus was higher compared to the Mosasaurus. This isn't to say that the Kronosaurus wins automatically based on its high bite force. On the contrary, considering the fact that the Mosasaurus has much sharper teeth compared to the dull teeth of the Kronosaurus. While the Kronosaurus was capable of biting and never letting go of its victim, the Mosasaurus was more likely to make quick work of whatever it deemed its enemy. In addition, the Mosasaurus has been studied in depth for its ambush techniques and high intelligence in combat, while the Kronosaurus likely wasn't as intelligent as the Mosasaurus. In a battle of offensive capabilities, it would be a close one, but it is likely that the Mosasaurus would win against the Kronosaurus. The defensive strategies of the Kronosaurus and the Mosasaurus differ from one another to an extent, but there are some similarities in this category as well. For example, both of these creatures have similarly tough heights and high speeds so that they can flee a battle quickly. However, the Kronosaurus is more likely to swim away in a fight against the Mosasaurus. However, don't count the Mosasaurus out, as their high intelligence likely means they are able to predict their enemy's behavior. The final category to address in a fight between the Kronosaurus and the Mosasaurus has to be their overall endurance and behavior in battle. For example, the Kronosaurus could likely swim larger distances and faster compared to the Mosasaurus. It also helps that the Kronosaurus is smaller than the Mosasaurus, likely leading to a higher level of endurance. However, the Mosasaurus is capable of ending a fight quickly, which is what it would need to do in order to win against the Kronosaurus. Therefore, depending on how the battle begins, it is likely that the Mosasaurus would win against the Kronosaurus given its size, offensive capabilities, and high intelligence in battle. What do you think? Who would win, Mosasaurus or Kronosaurus? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.